Alright, so I haven't been making too many videos lately. Um, you know, I do have some medical problems, so I, I just basically haven't been up to it, you know what I mean? Um, not only that, one of my laptops died. Uh, I use it quite a bit for screencasting, and it's pretty much just kicked the bucket, so... I don't know, I haven't really got into it yet. Maybe it's a corrupt BIOS, maybe it's, uh, you know, a, a bad, you know, maybe the CPU overheated or something with a lint being in the fan or something, I don't know yet. So, anyways, um... I did have a few questions, and uh, one I'll answer right now. It had to do with uh, handbrake, and um, handbrake isn't really in the uh, well. There isn't. There, it's not in the repo. So we usually, when you install handbrake on Ubuntu, you need to use a, a PPA, and um, the PPA uh, hasn't been updated yet, right? If you go down here, it says any release, and it just says ordinaric. There's no precise. Um, I think there is another PPA around there but I'm not too sure um, this is what I usually use but to get around this um, just go to where it says view package details then go to uh, Oknaric then select your architecture and there you go just download that dev package right here this one uh, for me it's 64 uh, 64 bit I mean and uh, just download the uh, GTK version which is just the, the GUI and install it and that's what I've been using for the past I don't know since the beta really beta 2 beta beta 1 I guess until now and it's working fine so hopefully that that helps anybody out there um, anyways another question was it had to do with a DVD and it's not really working properly at the moment um, some of the suggestions is to downgrade the uh, the package and um, if you don't know what DVD is it's basically to make uh, movie DVDs right uh, let me get it going real quick this right here so anyways, um, I believe the update went through the repo already, but I'm not too sure. Um, what I've been doing is just basically going to uh, the, the actual website that I just showed you right now and just download the package from here. Just just grab the package, download it, and um, to install it, I just use a terminal. It's not too hard. You know, the CD to the directory. Mine's on the desktop, so CD uh, desktop and then run this command uh, sudo dpkg space dash i space uh, star uh, dot deb and uh, just run that and it should install so that's what I did and so far it's working uh, the, the bug was basically when you when you create the DVD it'll go through the whole process of making the, the thing it takes over like an hour and a half to do and then when you play it back it doesn't work so <laughs> It's kind of frustrating. So, anyways, if you don't know how to use the program, it's really easy to use. You know, just go to Video DVD, and uh, you know you can use multiple videos. Uh, just two is basically my limit. So here's like movie one right here, right? So this is my first movie. Just drag it in there, right? So you got title one movie, right? So your title is just the way it sounds. You know, that's your title. So if you want to give it a uh, the actual name of the movie, just go to properties, um, movie, I guess one press ok and as you see down here the percentage right if it exceeds the, the hundred percent that means it's not going to fit on the disk and here's your disk image right here your uh, 4.7 gigabytes or uh, you know like a dual layer or whatever so I want to keep it like that uh, adjust for this disk image and you're pretty much done you can just hit start and it'll go but if you want to get a little bit more you know involved with it you want to put like two movies just click add then drag your second movie right and properties to change the title name I'm going to put movie 2 then adjust for disk image right now it should fit on that 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 disk and uh, right here PAL or, or, or NTSC you know wherever country you're from for me it's NTSC there's advanced options as well um, there's some other stuff to it, but I'm going to keep it simple. Um, up here, where you go to, pro uh, I'm sorry, edit preferences, there's an option for, uh, uh, you know, for multi-core multi CPU. Just click on that if you have like a dual core or a, you know, quad or whatever. Uh, this is kind of important. If you're, um, if you're like me and you have your home folder separated from your root directory, right, um, your temp folder is in your root directory, right? So if you have like a 10 gigabyte root directory, and it's making these DVDs which are four gigabytes and you only have like so much space to work with 
um, you're better off changing this to something else like you know your video folder or something like that you know what I mean so you can work in your your home directory which is a lot bigger than your root directory right so that's what I usually do press OK so when you're done you can preview your your uh, your menu see movie one movie two but you know that looks kind of ugly I guess so like you can actually add some some pictures if you wanted to so let's go to movie I'm sorry menu options and uh, where it says default ping or whatever just click on that and browse for uh, an image so I got this fake movie poster right here it has to be a ping image so here's a fake poster press open and you can also adjust where the uh, text is at you know movie one movie two is at so uh, let's go to the bottom I guess and make it on the left hand side press OK preview uh, menu and there you go it looks horrible but you kinda get the idea of it it's real simple anyways then once you're done just hit uh, hit forward and pretty much you're done you know what I mean it'll just create the ISO then from there you just burn it to a disk so anyways I hope that helped out anybody um, if you have any more questions just feel free to ask and I'll try to get back to you see you guys later